I have this older seven gallon reservoir tank for compressed air that I'm going to turn into a demonstration for classes that I teach on evacuation and I'm going to solder with 56. I'm going to drill two holes in here. Um, these taps right here. I'm going to solder those in with 56. I'm going to utilize the Ambro torch. I'm going to do a review on the Ambro, Ambro torch after I'm done with this tank. So good product, misused most of the time. And that's where I find that guys have their biggest complaint is it's misused. But I'm going to get started on making this tank. I got to get off this powder coating so I can solder and get a good joint to solder those taps on. So first I got to get all this paint off where I'm going to put these taps on. I'll spare you the other one. So I have almost a mirror polish finish on this two spots where I'm going to drill the holes. Slowly roll camera. So, got those polished up pretty good. I'm going to drill my holes and we'll get ready for it. My studio space is kind of in shambles right now. But, I'm going to make these holes. Bingo's bell. Oh, it's going to be a nice, good, tight fit. I can ream it out just a hair. That's what we're looking for. A nice, tight fit. Let's see about the other one. No, we're not making a tank that we're going to pressurize. I need someone calling the ATF on them. I need to ring that one out just a hair. We want nice, tight fits. As they say, guten tight. So now we're gonna 56 this on. Turn the torches on. Right there. We're gonna utilize 56, flux coated. Make life a little bit easier. And we're gonna utilize this Ambro torch because everyone says it sucks, doesn't work. But I find that hard to believe. And it's worked fine for me plenty of times. So we gotta heat up this steel first. I'm using 56 because it's two dissimilar metals. Get that flux on there. That looks pretty good. On to the other one. Heat up the steel first. Obviously, this is really thick steel. Copper will burn through quickly. Get some flux on here. Obviously, there's no flux on the steel yet. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get her all the way around. Make a nice, good shoulder for it. So. No knucklehead, I'm gonna turn the flame down just a hair. So it's not so hot. That way I can make a shoulder with this 56. I wanna make a 
nice big shoulder. Big strong. Maybe a little too cold. Want to build that shoulder up nice and strong. thick shoulder for this tank. So that way when I'm in a classroom setting, someone doesn't just snap these off. Don't breathe this stuff in. The flux is nasty smelling. By the way, Vito Hose Hauler, totally worth it. Get my regulator out. We're going to pressurize this thing. Make sure there's no leaks. Schrader cores back in. We are at 106 right now. Whoo! Time to get some soap and check to make sure there's no leaks. So I got my redneck soap bubbles. We have a leak somewhere. Just not sure where. We're losing pressure. It could be the hose. Well, I can tell you this. It is not my fittings right there. I wonder if this hose is leaking by. Sure enough, it's the hose. Well, poopies. Let's put a ball valve on there so we don't have that issue. It sucks when you do everything right and you still have a leak. It's leaking from that darn fitting. Lame. We'll see if we can tighten it down. Get it to stop leaking. We are leaking at the rate of one PSI a minute. Lame. All right, I'm pretty confident that I got it. We've been holding 94.8 for 15 minutes. Like I said, we're gonna use this for evacuation demonstration. I'm gonna be posting a video on why your S-Man micron gauge is not accurate and you should not rely on that as microns. So from here on out, it's nylog or nothing. Um, that's what I, those threads were leaking. So I nylogged on under the Teflon tape on top of the Teflon tape. So she ain't leaking anymore. We're solid. Now I'm going to clean this thing off and, uh, paint it. So that way it looks appropriate for training and yeah, keep an eye out for what I'm going to do with this. So, uh, Refrigeration technologies, remember, nylog everything. Threads, nylog. And for those of you that always tell me it's impossible to solder on the steel, um, yeah, verdict says it can be done. And I've done it several times, and it works. So, yep, gonna put a cap on this, gonna wash this off, gonna paint it, and we're gonna do some experiments with this thing. The real question is, will it pull a vacuum? You're just going to have to wait for part two to find out.